27 Investigates has been covering this story from the very beginning, and tonight there are still a lot of unanswered questions, including who's responsible for the spill and how it's going to be fixed. 27 First News reporter Julie Bursick took those questions to Youngstown Mayor John McNally today. She's live in Mill Creek Park with some new answers. Julie? Hey, Erica, when we were out here, a man came up to us and said he wishes that he could be out in the lake fishing, but he's not going to be doing that. Anyone's not going to be doing that for a long time because of a lot of things going with that bacteria. You can see the barricades are up here restricting anyone from getting right up on direct access to Lake Newport. So I talked with Youngstown Mayor John McNally about fixing this, and he says this all ties in with a multi-million dollar project to go ahead and upgrade the city's sewer system, and that's going to actually take almost 20-some years to complete and work on it. It's not going to start, actually, for a few more years. Now, he tells me the terms of this actually were negotiated with the state and U.S. EPA, and those aren't likely to change. But in the meantime, city crews will continue to test the water out here. There are no boats on the water at Mill Creek Park. No one is allowed on the water because of unsafe levels of E. coli bacteria. There's no one thing that's going to fix everything about this particular situation. People might not like to hear that, but that, I mean, that's just the facts of how the system works. An alphabet soup of agencies are involved in the sewage situation. Mill Creek is waiting on test results from the state EPA. Tests by the city of Youngstown and Mahoney County Board of Health both showed high levels of E. coli in the water. Friday night, the park's executive director sat down with First News, saying it was difficult to find out if the water was safe. Are we frustrated by the lack of timeliness from our regulatory agencies? Yes, we are very frustrated, and we refused to wait any longer, and we acted on our own based upon the information that we had. And there's still a lot of confusion about who was checking the levels now. I checked in with Mill Creek Metro Parks to see if any new testing is being done out here on the waterways, and they tell me as far as they know, no new tests are being done. The Youngstown Mayor John McNally says city crews are still out here testing the water. We're going to continue to do our own testing just to monitor what we think is appropriate as well. McNally admits it's the city's responsibility to make sure more sewage doesn't get into the water. Upgrading the old system is going to take decades, and the project doesn't start for years and follows agreements made with the state and federal EPA. Public pressure could speed up the process. Certainly hope the park reaches out to our federal and state legislators to try to find the money to do this in a quicker fashion. As far as a short-term fix. But I've been yet to be told by anybody, whether it's the park, the Ohio EPA, the U.S. EPA, my own staff, what temporary fix could be put in place. Now we do want to point out there have been some signs of life out here at Lake Newport since we've been here. We've seen a couple fish jumping up, so good sign of progress there hopefully for that. Now I just checked in with Mayor McNally again just to check and see if that testing is going to keep continuing out here on the water. He tells me it will for the foreseeable future. Reporting at Mill Creek Park, Julie Bursick, WKBN 27 First News.